So creators, we are starting off with our basic block pattern. That's the front of your dress. I'm just going to head to label the shoulder, the breast point, the under bust point, and then the length of my top. I actually added some um, pattern paper to the bottom because I want to extend that. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to just show for those persons who do not know how to use free hands to connect their arm. Oh, I just want to show how to do that. It's very easy and simple. All you have to do is to forget the midpoint of your arm hole measurement like that. Then from that midpoint, you go out by half an inch as you can see me do like that so if you don't have a curve ruler you can do this if you have a curve ruler you can just go ahead and connect all the marks together so from under your arm hole, i'll be going with the same measurement that it is from my arm hole to my bust point yes for me it is one inches then from there i'm just going to be doing dotted marks as you can see connect it to that one inch mark and then down to my bust point Hula. You are done with your hammer. Oh, it's just that easy or simple for those that do not have a French cuff. The next thing we want to do now is that we're going to be taking our one inch at the bottom. Mind you, I have not created any neckline. Okay, we'll be doing that much later. Now, this one inch is not an allowance. We'll be using it in preparing our um, corset top. The next thing is for you to go ahead and create your dart measurement, which is your nipple to nipple measurement, divided by two. After creating your dart measurement like that, take your dart marks, the number of dart marks you use. For me, I'm using half an inch, and then go ahead and create your dart mark. Go down by one inch from your boy's point, then at your under bust, take the same number of your dart mark that you're using to make your own cloth then go ahead and make your connections like it's so simple so easy if you didn't have a french ruler or a french curve you can use your hand to actually do this also just use dotted marks that is the trick use dotted marks at first and from there you can go ahead to trace out and evenly smoothing out any rough edges or sharp points that is how i do mine Moving ahead to the shoulder area, so you're going to be measuring from your shoulder point. If you have watched our other videos, you know we want to create a shoulder that, which is the remaining of your shoulder after you've actually marked your um, neckline divided by two. So go ahead and just create your shoulder um, that point like that. Then now we're going ahead to create our bust circumference, which is from your bust point to your knee, from your bust point to your under bust the number. So for me, it is three inches. So I'm just going ahead to create it like that down to the bust point and i'm ending there yes then for the neckline I, I went up by one and a half you can go by one inches or even half inches depending on what you want how deep you want it to be then i went out by half an inch like so and i just connected it to my bust circumference now we are done creating the bust um, region for the center front let's now go to the side front and create the same thing now we are still going to be using the same three inches but first of all let's impute our boss that which is that one inches we added at the bottom go in by half an inch from your nipple measurement and then connect those both lines together it's straight ahead easy to replicate now we've already made our bust that like that eliminating the one inches we added now let's make the bust circumference we're still going to be going with a three inches and we're going to be ending at that mark you see there i just folded the bust that for you to see the effect that is having on our corset top already that's the reason for the bust that so i went ahead to add about four inches <laughs> i'm there calculating with my fingers to the actual length of my top you can go ahead and add five inches depending on how long you want the front to be you know like this box um effect that's what we want to actually create and i went out by half an inch went ahead and added my allowance to my pattern paper and went ahead to connect it just like that so i'll be extending the line of my dart measurement now to the bottom so i can trim it off after doing this guys you're almost done with this 
tutorial we're almost done with it if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel like share and if you have not followed us on our social media handle please follow us on our instagram handle at taylor plus and our facebook just follow us so you can actually have more information about when we have classes and other useful tips go ahead and open your waist start like the way you see me do on the video the reason for this is so that once we um glue down our boss that it will be feeling relaxed that's the reason for it so you see me going ahead now to just glue down my boss that that's the next thing you'll be doing you can use cellulite tape for these but i prefer using gum okay but you can use cellulite tape paper tape whatever thing that you have just glue it down to it to remove that one inch we added at the bottom now you can go ahead also and blend that your side um your side marks together but for me i didn't really have anything to blend so i just went in there to create my second boss circumference close to my armpit the way i do it is that i just divide the measurement i have from my shoulder mark to my boss point and then i just connect it directly half of it now we want to make the neckline of our dress or our shirt i want to be a v-neck so i just went ahead and connected it to the three inches mark normally you use for your neckline this is me just going in to trim out the dart mark the neck dart and just remove those things that we know are no longer needed for the journey for now though you know we don't throw them away there are people who are in our lives for a moment and some are forever these are forever but we don't need them for now so just keep them aside and we'll be using just that um breast or top part now you can use any of the sides for this the next thing I'm doing now is just I'm going to be cutting through to the shoulder point but I'm, I'm going to be leaving like one centimeter or like 0 0.1 inches at the top there don't trim everything take a new fresh pattern paper mark the um, dart mark just as you can see me do on the screen right now and after that you're going to be opening up this particular place you want to actually add to it see on the thumbnail that i have on the dress i'm putting on so you can go ahead and use whatever number you wish or want just dividing your um, pattern like this along your shoulder that is enough to create the effect Ahead with four four inches you can go ahead and add more if you want yours to have more effect than what you're seeing on the thumbnail but i went with four four inches for both sides now this is very very important after connecting the two marks like that you have to go down at least one inches from that mark and that's very important so do not skip it make sure you add at least one inches go ahead to do all your connections and after you do that you're just going to trim off and do not forget to add your half inch seam allowance to the areas that are needed even after cutting like this that one inch we added was not a seam allowance so obviously you have to add another half inches so this is what we have currently it's looking like a bat for tennis we've come to the end of this tutorial thank you for staying see you in this sewing video which i'm going to be leaving in the link in the description box below bye for now